Well, this is a more different environment than usual. So we are back once again with another Mario Kart 8 DLC wave, wave 5. I was hyped about this when it was revealed in the direct. Let's see what we got, boys. Here we go. Hold on, this is recognizable. The eight courses of wave five. Oh, so it is Koopa Cape. Let's freaking go. Again with the tour tracks. LA laps, okay. Oh wow, I did not think this one would get a remaster. Yeah, this is the brand new track. Squeaky Clean Spirit, it says. And apparently, yeah, I can't believe Kamek is a playable character. In a main Mario Kart game, it's wild. Athens Dash. Daisy Cruiser? Okay. They're picking like, um... The odds are sunset freaking wild. Let's go. Finally. Vancouver Velocity. Okay. I'm not too familiar with the tour tracks, y'all. Sunset Wild. Let's go, bro. Okay, that's it. All right. Those are actually not bad choices, man. Whew. Yeah, 48 courses. We know. And yeah, they, these are all brand new characters. <laughs> July 12th? That's next week. Okay. Always so fast with the quick release dates. They make you wait a while, but um, when it's revealed, you know, they, 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 they don't make you wait long. Okay, well, that was pretty enjoyable to watch. So we have Sunset Freaking Wilds. Coming back, that's actually pretty cool. I do like that. And yeah, besides that, I do like Koopa Cape and Moonview Highway and Daisy Cruiser. Mainly Wii and uh, GameCube uh, tracks chosen here. No, actually, it was mainly tour tracks that I rolled my eyes over because I never seen them before. So yeah, I can, obviously, as with the other DLCs, I cannot wait.